output from is after and program is it and fixed. And in today's lesson, we will learn about HTML head and the uh, elements of the head uh, which we will discuss uh, in detail in this tutorial. So, HTML head uh, is a container for metadata. Uh, metadata means the uh, data about data. So, HTML metadata is data about the HTML document. Metadata is uh, not uh, displayed, so, so we will just write the information in the uh, metadata and uh, this information will uh, never display in the browser but if we inspect the browser uh, then we can uh, see this information displayed in the inspect element. Metadata is typically defined document titles, style, link, scripts and other meta information. The following tag describes the metadata uh, that is title and uh, style and meta, link, script and base. These are the basic tags for the head element and we write these tags in the head element. And so we uh, take an example uh, for this kind of element and uh, we can also omit some elements in HTML file and uh, the, our page or our document will work properly if we omit some tag so let's open the viewer so here we go uh, I just take an HTML document here and uh, write some code in the document to uh, explain our example. So I open up a document and remove the uh, uh, usable credential and uh, this one. And uh, here we will discuss about the uh, HTML, uh, HTML, omitting HTML and body. So I just uh, uh, write head.html and save this at uh, desktop and so uh, in HTML file standard the HTML tag, the body tag and the head tag can be omitted. Uh, so we also take an example for uh, this uh, and these elements. So I have removed the uh, uh, unusable content and uh, there is a meta tag above the, the title element. I will also remove that because uh, it is not required at this stage. And uh, in the uh, if we remove the head or uh, body uh, HTML tag then other page will work correctly but uh, uh, in HTML file um, but this is not recommend, uh, recommended uh, to use uh, this uh, technique because it is not useful for the older browser, uh, older, older browser because they do not understand HTML file or uh, uh, this kind of code and uh, display some error so I here just take a uh, heading and a paragraph. Let's say this is a paragraph. So I have uh, written a uh, heading and uh, a paragraph and save this document at desktop and if I run this in browser then this document will work properly uh, and but uh, all those uh, have not the head element but it will work properly in the browser as you can see that this is a para either this heading and a paragraph so uh, you can use this uh, Uh, this HTML file uh, and omit some tag. HTML element is the document root and it is the recommended place for the specifying the page language. So uh, we write the 
uh, page language in the HTML tag. So, moreover, uh, declaring a language with important accessibility applications uh, that is triggers and search engine. Uh, and omitting HTML and body can crash badly written DOM uh, or XML software. Finally, omitting body can produce errors in Wonder Browser uh, that is intended to as per 9. So, uh, the best way is to write the, all the tags which are necessary for an HTML document. These are uh, I have defined language uh, which is L A N G and is equal to uh, language used in your document and this uh, will help us uh, to in the search engines and other uh, search SEO purposes for other SEO purposes and when we search at Google then uh, we will uh, get the required word which language we use in our uh, document. HTML document. So uh, here I have going some uh, language and next uh, uh, is the head and I have also removed the head element and uh, HTML for standard head tag can be also omitted by default browser will add all elements for body to a default head element you can reduce the complexity of HTML by omitting the head element. So uh, I have removed the head element but uh, this page is still working correctly because uh, uh, this is HTML5 document and HTML5 uh, in HTML5 you can submit some tag uh, to reduce the page complexity. So uh, For the uh, head elements, we will take another example. Or uh, uh, this is we also use the uh, new file and create this new page and change its title to head two and uh, save this uh, desktop with the name head2.html and you can also change this ex extension uh, from below if you uh, want but uh, I want to create a uh, HTML document so I have used .html as an extension so omitting tags is unfamiliar to the web developer which means time to establish as a guideline so I take the example for uh, uh, head element. Uh, in previous example, you see uh, we have uh, making the head element but our page working correctly. But uh, uh, this head two, we use this head two example uh, for uh, title element uh, and. Uh, what is the title element? The title element defines the title of a document. Uh, the title element is required in all X, uh, HTML and XHTML documents. So uh, we have written the title head2 in this document and uh, define the meta uh, set uh, set with the and uh, which is the uh, HTML file uh, graph set and the title element uh, defines a little in browser tab provides a title for the page when it is added to pages. Display a title for page in search in your results. You can see that uh, there is a title as in the tab and this is the title which we have given in our document. And although this is not in the head element but uh, by default uh, by using HTML5 this element uh, automatically goes to the head element and if we want to uh, bookmark our uh, favorite page or uh, document then the title or name of this bookmark will be the name uh, which we have placed in the head element 
told you about the head and uh, a title and how we can use title for uh, different purposes this is the example for the title uh, the next thing uh, we will discuss will be the html style element and uh, link and meta element so i will just uh, run in the browser had two element nothing uh, in display but the title had to in the display at the tab in the browser 